I think that one thing people can look at and understand easily when we're talking about how to communicate more free market um, healthcare options, people understand that selling car insurance across you know, any, anywhere across the country has made it more affordable. People can understand and relate to car insurance. And there right, are just look at, many look variations. Flow and everybody's like, oh, I can get stuff from get stuff from Flo and she'll compare prices and that's awesome. Yay. Right. Those are things that people have maybe overlooked in, in some ways about talking, but when we talk about opening up the the um, the way that people can buy insurance across state lines and allowing companies to do that, it instantly brings more competition to the market and it mm -hmm. instantly gives people more options, more choices. And that's something that we should be stressing, I think, in that comparison. It's a good way to make that conversation open up for some people. Um, I watched Ryan's video earlier today. Um, it was moving and, you know, and it's the kind of thing that we are seeing more and more. Um, I think I think these videos are really important for people to understand the damage that Obamacare can do uh, to many facets of healthcare. While we see these numbers about seven million people signed up for Obamacare and stuff, without seeing the other side, which is not portrayed, mainly because most people are not affected in that manner. Most of us are luckily healthy. We don't use our health care all that much. And we aren't confronted by these major health care bills. So you think about Ryan's situation with somebody who doesn't use health care. And then they're like, well, you know, that $11,000 deductible doesn't matter to me because I don't use health care. So my premium is cheaper, so I saved money. They don't understand the other side of the coin, which is if you do get sick, you're you're back to the same place where you might as well almost not have insurance. You might as well be in a position where you end up, you know, ending up on Medicaid or, you know, through the charitable system, through hospitals and things like that. So we have this dichotomy going on where the media is portraying everything as well. Seven million people got signed up and, you know, additional people got onto Medicaid. And we're not really seeing the other side where people are really affected by these large health care bills because of all this cost shifting uh, back onto the backs of, you know, average Americans. Hey, so on that, I have a quick question for you. Can you give the listeners an idea of what type of procedure will put you that high in medical expenses? I know my son's cleft surgeries are twenty, thirty thousand 30000 a time, I think. But I had stitches once, and it was like three hundred dollars. So if you break an arm, you're probably not going to be using that whole eleven thousand. But if you have maybe appendicitis, an appendectomy, like what, what kind of thing would put you over the limit? Just so people know when they're looking to say, maybe I do take the cheap, premium, high deductible plan. Yeah, it it doesn't take much to get to that um, those kind of big numbers. Um, you know, uh, it's hard. One thing is that very difficult, and we know this is that it's very hard to get good cost comparisons. Uh, like, oh, if I have an appendectomy in Colorado versus an appendectomy in Columbus, Ohio, I'm paying this much. But you know, when you you get a general gestalt for these things, I mean, you get your appendix taken out, you spend even two, three days in the hospital, you're talking, you know, eight, ten, twelve thousand dollars uh, billable expenses. You know, you if you're talking about a heart attack, for example. Um, you know, you have one an angiogram, you put in a couple stents, you know, each of those stents are, you know, five, six thousand dollars. You're talking twenty five, thirty, thirty thousand dollars. You know, and you know, how many of us have, you know, uh, how many of us have you know, uh, family members that have heart attacks, that have stents, that have had bypasses. It doesn't take very much to get, you know, to the point where you are threatening that higher limit of deductible. Um, so I think, you know, again, most of us, you know, 80% of us aren't, don't use health care on a regular basis. I mean, and so when we see these premiums, we're like, oh, that's fine. But if you are a chronic illness person, or you have any of these emergencies, you can you can easily get to these deductible limits very quickly. And it isn't even an emergency necessarily. Pregnancy and child delivery will give you a huge bill. Oh, and we joked in our family about how long it took to pay off the little critter. 
um, you know, to where we owned her free and clear because we had a, a, a significant amount to pay. And that was just our portion, which was maybe 30% of the hospital bill. But kids, just plain having kids is expensive. The emotional stories, the, the gripping accounts, the people who had insurance and were fine and they were lied to and now they, they're made much worse off. We need to tell those stories. 